Brady Silent Milton and Jennifer Davis. Would you please welcome Valedictorian Brady Davis? Good evening. I was dreaming when I wrote this. Forgive me if it goes astray. But when I woke up this morning, I was excited because it was graduation day. I would like to welcome all of you here tonight and thank you for coming to share this evening with us. Even more, I would like to give a special thank you to our parents, families, teachers, and friends who, is, who have given us inspiration, guidance, and love. You have shared and praised our achievements and comforted and cared in our times of discouragement. There is an old baseball saying that was used by two longtime baseball radio broadcasters. One of these broadcasters was Joe Nuxall for the Cincinnati Reds, and the other was a more familiar name, Bill Platt, who broadcast Oklahoma State baseball for many years. This saying is rounding third and heading for home. So what does this saying mean? This saying does not mean the game is almost over. It means you're still in the game and about to score a run. We, the Perkins Trying graduating class of 2016, have just rounded third and are heading home. We have scored a run. We are here to graduate high school. The game is far from over, though. Now we must stay in the game and score more runs, continue to round third and head for home. There is another baseball saying that is close to me because it is the brand my great-grandfather used on his horses. This saying is three up, three down. Three up refers to three opportunities in an inning to succeed. Three down is three failed opportunities. Life is full of successes and failures, just like baseball. Baseball is a game of many failures. In fact, it has been 75 years since Ted Williams, arguably the greatest hitter in baseball, hit over 400. This means that no Major League Baseball hitter has failed less than six out of ten times since then. This brings me to the disciple Peter. Peter was asked three times if he knew Jesus Christ, but he responded as not knowing Christ three times. This was three opportunities and three failures for Peter. Three up and three down. This was not the end for Peter, though. Jesus spoke with Peter on the beach after Jesus' resurrection and gave Peter three more opportunities. Jesus asked Peter three times if he, if he loved him. Peter succeeded those three times, and Jesus told him to go spread the message of Christianity to the entire world. What I'm saying is this. You will have failures in life, but it's how you respond to failure that determines your greatness and success. Don't give up. You'll miss something much better. Continue to stay in the game, rounding third and heading for home. Be like Peter, persevering beyond failure, and make the most every opportunity. Thank you. Our next valedictorian is Miss Maria Dawson. <laughs> 